Alright folks, what is up? This is one big bug and as you can tell, I'm not too happy right now. As I said in the last video, we were going to pull that bulldozer. And as you can see by the top of my screen there, I have been driving it. The problem is right towards the end of the delivery, right when I'm pulling into the place to deliver it, my headphones crashed. And when that happens, it completely screws over the recording. All recording that had been done to that point gets lost. And I don't know how to stop this. I have Razer Megalodons. I've had them for a couple of years now. And they've been working great. And only recently do they crash. And they don't crash, like, constantly. But at least once a day, in most occasions, they, they crash. They just die. I, I'm starting to think it's getting to the point where I need new headphones. Because there's no updates. If the problem's a confliction in the firmware for the... Uh, for the headphones, well, there's nothing I can do about that because there's no updates. There hasn't been upda an update for these for years, so I don't know what else to do. So I'm going to finish pulling this load into the delivery point, and then we'll just take another delivery and keep going. So I apologize for the loss of that footage, and hopefully it's not something that happens too often, but... It's annoying, to say the least, that I just lost all that footage. You know, a good 30 minutes or so of driving and talking. It's so aggravating. I love these headphones to death, but if this is going to keep happening, I may have to look into new headphones. I may even want to look into a headphone microphone combo. Maybe get like um, a, a desk mic and then get uh, not not your standard desk mic, a, a decent recording uh, desk mic. Um, a snowball or something of that nature. And um, a sep you know, with, with a separate headset. I think that may be the way to go. But otherwise, I'm not sure, really. The last couple times it crashed, you know, it crashed like right at the beginning of the recording. So it was fine. This one re crashed right at the freaking end, man. Right at the end. Oh, it's, it's so upsetting to have to deal with that. Level up, you know, let's just go with long distance, yeah. Now, there should be a resting point here. Yeah, there's actually a couple, and there's one right up here. At least I haven't had to fuel up yet. That's a positive. There's a resting point right around here. I forget what I set my brake to, and I don't think I should have it set to what I have it set to. Uh, keyboard. Parking brake. Yeah, well, no, no, actually it's fine what it's set to. 
Alright, it's fine. Alright, uh, let's get some sleep. Yay, rain. Alright, uh, freight market. Hopefully we don't freaking crash again. Alright, I guess this is where we are. Because you can only choose cities that you're in. You can't choose. That would have been real nice to tell right there. So we're going to have to take this. And this is right where we are. We know that already. 379 kilometers. 5,725. At 1,352. For 30 less cents, we can go 495 kilometers and take a caterpillar. But I already know, we already saw that this... Uh, particular uh, trailer is right at the quarry that we're in. So this is what we're going to take. <sighs> Will you stop rolling backwards? So please, headphones, be nice. They usually only cr crash once in a day, so hopefully that's the crash. I don't know what causes it. I don't know how it happens. I just know it happens. Oh, right. I'm an idiot. We got to go to the top of the quarry to accept the job. <sighs> it's all right. I'm just... I'm still steaming over the fact that my headphones crashed. And I don't know why they crashed. I just know they crashed. Maybe I should just try resetting them before every recording to help try and eliminate that issue. Okay. Here we are. <sighs> That's actually not bad either, to be honest, but... Small enough truck, we should just be able to swing around right here. The other thing that ticks me off is this is an extra recording, you know? This is a recording I normally wouldn't have to do. You know? This which should be the last recording I'm doing for the career during the week, but it ends up being um, the second to last now, because what should have been the second to last is lost. I don't know what I'm doing with my gear shifts. Yeah, sadly, when I talk about getting um, like new headphones and all that, that's probably going to have to wait a while. Like, at least to the new year. Because I have uh, bills to pay, to say the least. Um, <sighs> so the bug land on me, isn't that nice? Was this particular recording cursed now? Right. Normally I would look, but we're just going to take off. Should be fun getting out of here. This is 
30 tons as opposed to 16 that I was just towing. So it's a fairly heavy load. Yeah, I double shifted down on purpose because I just I knew that uh, whoa traction. I have little love. Mind you, I'm not trying to cause it to turn. And it's not quite turning either. I actually lost traction there for a little bit. That was that was a new one for me. What I hit? Oh great, we're in a bad situation now. Come on, baby. Come on. Man, we got like no traction. You can tell because my speed's actually coming down, my revs. Well, that was a thriller. That was most interesting, to say the least. Oh, come on. This is only 30 tons, not 60. It's because it's dirt road too. It actually does have a different traction application than uh, tarred. You don't have as much traction on dirt as I would a tarred road. So I'm not getting the traction that I normally would. By the way, what I did there when I got stuck. Uh, when you start to roll backwards like that, there's no way you're going to gain forward momentum just by hitting the throttle. You're not. Um, well, a very rare occasion you can if you have a powerful enough truck to overcome the inertia. But in most cases, that won't happen. So, the best case scenario if you're stuck like that on a steep hill with no forward momentum and your engine accidentally stalled or you're at you're at a point where even um, uh, you know you try and hit the throttle and it's just to no avail you're gonna roll backwards the trick to overcoming that is to apply the parking brake yeah apply, apply the parking brake and then let go of the brake completely. By doing that, you zero out your reverse momentum and you basically put yourself uh, at an even inertia even though you're inclined to roll backwards 
of course, when you come off the throttle, when you come off the brake, you know, when you release the parking brake. Yeah, I did that on purpose. Wee, my trailer. Um, the main trick, though, is once you set the parking brake, hit the throttle, full down, you know, put the throttle to the floor, you know, for me it's pull the trigger all the way in, just give it full throttle, yeah? And then once you have full throttle, you release the parking brake. Because you don't have any backwards momentum, your truck will dig in the traction a hell of a lot better. It won't stall out. You don't have any backwards inertia to overcome. And you will usually... I haven't had it fail yet. But I'm not going to say it's a 100% fix either. So the only thing I can say is you will usually overcome the, the hill... You know, the, the gravitational pulls on you, if you will. And you will actually start moving forward again. Stop that. That was a tight turn, man. But we pulled it off. The trick to turns like that where you might not have... Uh, ah, damn it. I was slowing down. I'm not even sure what the speed limit here is. I haven't seen a speed limit sign. But there must have been one because there's almost never a camera and not a speed limit sign before it that I know of. But the trick to the corner is like when you're tight like that. Uh, if you don't already know, and most people that play this game will already know. Yeah, that'll make it. Is once you get into, the, you know, once you complete the corner with your truck, is not to continue completing the corner fully. You know, as you saw there, rather than continue pulling into my lane, I continued to go straight as much as possible and I hugged up against all the cars that were there rather than try and pull into my lane more. This gave my trailer more time to um, come around the corner without having to turn uh, sharper. You know, I, I smoothed it out a little bit more by taking that corner. So. Huh. 
This is a really nice run. It's looking like looks like it's gonna be a lot of highway, which is good, especially considering what we're hauling. Honestly, even 30 tons is kind of pushing what the truck can haul comfortably. You know, anything over the base weight of the game, when it, when you're using a starter truck, which is 25 tons, is pushing your limits uh, a little bit. But five extra tons, it should be all right. But as you can see, you know, I'm, I'm down low in the RPMs, and I think we're making a slight uphill climb. I'm not entirely sure. <sighs> Tomorrow i got to clean it, my computer, I think. i got to uh, air blast the dust out of the cooler and the video card. Yeah, I always feel a little stupid when somebody comes up passing me on the right. But, again, I prefer the middle lane because driving in the middle lane is not driving in the right-hand lane. Um, and driving in the middle lane also um, prevents me from accidentally exiting or causing an accident trying not to exit when my... Um, when the lane inevitably ends in an exit. Kind of like what's coming up here. Yeah, that. Not something I want to deal with. Now, sadly, when it's two-lane highway, that usually transitions. And I said right lane, I meant left. That usually will transition uh, me driving in the left lane, so that's not always the most fun. We will be exiting the highway here, it looks like. Looks like onto another highway, but I could be wrong. Usually when it's smooth uh, transitions like that, it's onto another highway. And the rain's about to stop. That's also good. In fact, the rain did stop. Let's take it down to 11. Pretty sure we can just cruise this. Without too much trouble. Very nice. Easy transition from highway to highway. Oh, and I don't need my lights anymore. All right. Awesome.
And we're under 200 kilometers. That's nice. I really don't know if I should even bother moving middle lane right now. Just because we're going to have a very, uh, not very steep, but very long incline here, it looks like. So I'm going to lose momentum. Very good, very good indeed. It's looking like an interesting trailer up there. Fortunately, I'm not going to get to see very much of it. Huh. Maybe we'll get to see it when towing because any trailer in the traffic, I can tow. You know, the military and the train um, trailers, only I can tow. I chose not to put the files that would put them in the traffic um, into the game. That not only cuts down on a little bit of the game uh, resource usage of having to put those trailers in as they drive by, and dealing with another mod uh, that puts them into the traffic but it makes those cargos feel a little bit more special you know and that's really why I like uh, doing that This has been a pretty smooth run. All right. Must keep in mind that the speed went to 70 at this point. And even lower now. Yeah, I saw the camera. I'd rather go too slow than risk being up uh, even a little high. It's just a hell of a lot safer. Now the thing is, it should be that like if I pass 120 area and I'm going 100, I shouldn't get a ticket even though in my navigation it says 80. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens there. Yeah, but see now we've transitioned into that country highway. You know, not quite country road, not quite highway, a little bit of both. Two lanes through relatively, you know, very country landscape. Yeah, I faltered on that one, but I did the best I could in recovery. No need for rest stop. We have good stamina. We have good fuel. We've done the 70 ton run plus the bulldozer, which sadly you got to see very little of. And this is our third run, and we're still at half a tank. That's pretty damn good, if you ask me. Come on now. 
we are under 50 kilometers left to go so we should be exiting off the highway fairly soon and I, I got up today I went to bed sometime after four o'clock I got up today around um, 2.30. Yeah, I stayed in really late. And I ended up having stuff I needed to do, including recordings, pulling laundry off the clothesline, uh, just in case it rained. Uh, even if it didn't rain, they needed to come in. Uh, taking a shower, things like that. I didn't eat until 6. So I literally haven't, I literally had nothing to eat for uh, well, probably close to 24 hours and my wife made a nice little uh, chicken dinner it was really good but I'd be damned it's only been a couple of hours and I'm freaking starving again I have to make something else to eat probably make some uh, Simon noodles I'm in noodles. They're kind of like my love-hate relationship. I love them because they taste so damn good. But on the other hand, they got a really high salt content, and I don't like that. Uh, at my uh, particular weight, you know, my size, uh, eating salty foods causes my feet to swell, my feet and my lower legs to swell, uh, even more than normal. So, But I can't help it. It tastes so good. I don't eat as much as I used to when it comes to them. I used to heat up like three packages, four packages. Now the most I'll do at one time is two. I am in the wrong lane. I am in the way wrong lane right now. And I knew that. And yeah, light changed. Oh well. Budweiser. I'm sorry, I'm not big on American beers. I mean, I do drink them because that's what's available. But I personally haven't had European or any other beer other than American beers. But, you know, hearing people talk about them hearing, you know, reading about them and all that, the the alcohol content and the in the and the dark coloring and the flavor and all that. I really can't look at American beers and think of them as much more than uh, flavored carbonated water. And I'm not trying to be insulting. There are some good tasting beers out there. And considering one of the beers that I drink on a regular basis uh, regular being like once every six to eight months, I'll drink one 40 ounce beer. Uh, that being uh, Mickey's, Mickey's Ice, which is the local um, cheap beer. Ooh, I do not like this. I do not like this at all. Fortunately, we got a nice wide turning area here, so this isn't too bad. And it's a left hand. Left hands are much easier than rights, which is what we're coming up to here. So we are just going to hog the road, and we're going to stop far back so that I can make a full swing of this uh, when the time comes. I'm going to need it. Fortunately, that light down there is keeping this side clear so I can use up the whole road for this corner. Excellent. I don't know if we'll be able to make this light, but we're going to sure try. Sweet. And this looks like our delivery point. 
Awesome. And this should be a not too difficult back in. Should be. Because we get uh, a fair amount of runway here to straighten out. Not that we straightened out very well. Yeah, I steered that wrong and not on purpose. This is hard to see because it's so far back. This should work. Yeah, there we go. Sweet! That backing went better than any other, at least. <coughs> Pardon me. We're not going to level up again, but we did get a nice chunk out of it. I don't think we had any loan to pay back yet. Uh, we do have new upgrades available, so let's see what's available. Uh, simple side skirt protection. We have a new uh, sun visor and new paint jobs and new wheels. Um, I don't know. I'm not up for uh, doing the paint job. Um, oh boy. This looks like a lot of fun. That looks like a pretty cool trailer right there. Can I go? Can can I just sneak in? No? Mr. Fast Car that I could crush? Oh well. Whatever. Plus the garage will have a resting point which we're going to obviously need. Oops. Mm -hmm. I like having air horns. Oops. It's okay. We're running bobtail anyways. Coming through! Now, no, I'm not overly fond of spending a lot of money, but... I will spend a little bit making my truck look a little bit better. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Although, soon. Nothing on the interior. It's here I want. I want these side skirt protection going down. I don't know if I care for the... Oh! Yeah, I care for the new visor because it's painted purple. What's this? Must be new lights? No. Says there's something new, but there's not. There's new tires. Eh, you know... Just because I can't change the back... I'm going to stick with the standard. It says there's a new front bar, but there's not. There's nothing on the lights. It says there's a new bottom bar, but there's not. And no new light changes. So that's all, just the visor and the side skirt, which I actually like. So I'm going to confirm order. And then while we're here, we might as well get the truck serviced. Not much to service, but whatever. I'm just curious in the paint shop. We get this new... Yeah, no. And... Yeah, no. Um, let's just leave it the way it is. 
Oh, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. I tried to get to silence my microphone, but it didn't work. All right, here we are. Shut it down, get some rest. Then we'll see what we'll take on the next run. Uh, job market, freight market. And we are here in Erfurt. Er, 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 Erfurt. Believe me, when it comes to pronouncing anything but English, I can't do it. And even English gives me trouble, so... Sorry. So it looks like we'll get another crack at the bulldozer run. 539 kilometers. That's 7,637. That's the most paid and by far the most money by 54 cents per kilometer. Yeah? 54 cents per kilometer. So it looks like we're going to get another run at the bulldozer. So hopefully you guys will be able to see that. So that's the job we're going to take next. And that's worth seven grand. So that's definitely worth the run. All right, folks. That's going to be me done for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. Until next time, this is going to be one big bugger. I'm going to be signing out. And I'll see you.